I know that President Obama will act upon the request that he has just received. Well, he's received the request from Governor Perdue. Uh, now he has received uh, the formal documentation from FEMA, and I'm certain uh, that it will be addressed immediately. The thoughts and prayers of this entire Congress and the people we represent, the American people, are with the people of Georgia today and these days ahead uh, as we work with them to ensure that they have all that they need. And I hope it is some level of comfort to them that our, their representatives on both sides of the aisle uh, from Georgia have made us fully aware of the direct impact that the uh, rains have had on Georgia, and we stand ready to help uh, with whatever we can do officially, but always with we, what we can do in our prayers. With that, Mr. Speaker, I yield back the balance of my time. Chairman Thank yields you. back. Uh, gentleman from uh, Florida Reserves. Mr. Speaker, I yield such time as you may consume to the distinguished gentleman from Georgia, Mr. Johnson, whose district also encompasses a great portion of the territory ravaged by the floods. The gentleman from Georgia is recognized. Thank you, uh, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Speaker, uh, my constituents are suffering greatly this week. In just 72 hours, the Atlanta metropolitan area has received 15 to 22 inches of relentless rain, causing widespread flooding, numerous deaths, and hundreds of millions of dollars uh, of property damage. And I rise today, Mr. Speaker, to express my deepest concern for the victims of this terrible flood to join Governor Perdue in urging the President to declare an emergency for the state of Georgia and to urge passage of the resolution before us. Sponsored by my colleague, Congressman John Lewis of Atlanta, this resolution will offer our sympathy to flood victim victims and our gratitude to those heroes who have worked tirelessly to protect people from the floodwaters. I know that uh, Speaker Pelosi is doing everything that she can to assist the people of Georgia, and for that I, I thank you. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, on, as early as yesterday morning, she was on the phone uh, with each of us uh, to uh, express, express her concerns and to also uh, pledge any assistance that she could give, and so we appreciate that. Um, Governor Perdue and President Obama have been on the phone coordinating efforts to deal with this national disaster. I applaud the governor for the state's competent and effective response, and I join him in urging our president to make available federal funds to supplement Georgia's efforts to mitigate the effects of the flood. Mr. Speaker, my constituents and all the residents of flooded areas in the American South have shown tremendous courage in the face of washed out roads, destroyed homes, and treacherous conditions. Let us pass this resolution as a small token of our empathy and support. And with that, Mr. Speaker, I yield back. Yields back.